In this video, I'm going to show you this really awesome sliced text effect, and that is right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you have a brand new composition created, we can first begin by creating some text. So in order to create a brand new title layer, you want to select the T icon on the top of After Effects, then click on the video and type out whatever you want to put. So I'm just going to go caps lock and I'm going to type in Brooker. Now I'm going to select the selection tool. We'll go over to the right side of After Effects and we can increase, decrease, change the font and just basically customize the text to how you want it to look. Now, once you're happy with that, we're just going to turn on the proportional grid and we're going to center this up. So make sure this perfectly sits in the middle of the composition. Now, from here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a background. So we're going to go layer, new, solid. We can select any color that you like, but I'm going to select a dark gray. We'll press OK, press OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and create another layer. So I'm going to go layer, new, solid. We'll select black this time. We'll press OK, OK. And we're going to go and select the ellipse tool on the top of After Effects. We'll draw a circle or an ellipse right over the center of the video. Press inverted in black solid one, mask one. And we'll go into mask one and pull the mask feather all the way up to the point where you can't see the edges of that mask anymore. Now we'll drag those two layers underneath the text layer. And as you can see, we've got this really awesome and really dynamic looking text. Now from here, we're just going to go and lock off those two background layers. So let's select black solid one and press the padlock. Then we'll select dark gray solid one. And again, we'll press the padlock. So no matter what we do, we're not going to affect the background layer. Now you want to go ahead and you want to draw a mask around the title layer. So select the pen tool. We'll draw a mask around the left side and then we'll draw a diagonal line through the center of the text and go back to the first point. So we should have a rectangle with a slanted side. Now you want to go ahead and you want to copy that text layer. So hold command C and command V go into Brooker two, go into masks and then you want to select inverted. So we should have the entire title there, but it's split into two different halves. So as you can see, we've got the right side and we've got the left side. And this is how we're going to do the slicing effect. Now you want to select Brooker 2 and the original Brooker layer, so that's both of your title layers and press P on the keyboard. That's going to load up the position and this is, that's going to load up position. Now from here, we want to go ahead and create two keyframes so that both halves of this word slide next to each other, creating this really awesome slicing effect. So you just want to go ahead and you just want to move the first half of the text down and right. And then you want to move the top half of the text up and left a touch. And once you're happy with the look of that, you can create a brand new keyframe on both text layers. Now we'll go a few seconds in. So I'm going four seconds in and we'll drag the text on the left up and left. And we'll drag the title on the right down and right. Now it's super important that these text layers are right next to each other. You don't want there to be a gap in between each title layer. You want them to be running right next to each other. So let's play this back and just make sure that this looks good. And now this might take a little bit of time for the computer to render out, but just wait one second and allow the computer to render it out for you. And as soon as that is rendered, if we watch this back, we've got this really awesome slicing effect happening. And that's essentially the effect now complete. But if you wanted to transition that into the word, so it starts sliced and then becomes unsliced, all you would have to do is update the position of both of those end keyframes. And as you can see, the word would come together and would look really awesome. So if we just play that one back, as you can see, it starts separated. There's a slice in between. And as it comes closer together, it ends up finishing together. So from here, we're just going to select all of those keyframes. We're going to right click on one of those keyframes. We'll go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. 
that will smooth out the animation and make this seem a lot more smooth and seamless. Of course, there is just one more thing that we can do to really take this to the next level, and that is to add a little bit of shadow on one of the text layers. So you want to go ahead and you want to select, so you want to go ahead and figure out which side of the text you want to be on top of the other one. So I'm going to use the title on the right as the one that's on top. So this is the one where the shadow will come from. So the shadow will fall on BRO. So all you have to do to create the shadow is go up into layer, new solid make sure this is a black solid we'll press ok on this you just want to turn this off by pressing the eyeball for now and then we're just going to draw a shadow around the second text now you want to drag this in between those two text layers so one should be underneath one should be on top then you want to go into mask one mask path and increase the mask feather and as you can see, that does look really awesome. So as you can see, if we play this back, we've got this really awesome shadow effect. But if you wanted this to appear as if these two text layers were coming together and they were coming to the same level, the shadow would disappear. So we can go ahead and animate this shadow to disappear at the same time as the text is coming together. So roughly halfway through the movement, you want to select the black solid that is the shadow press T on the keyboard to load opacity, create a brand new keyframe on 100%. We'll go through to the end keyframe, so roughly four seconds in, and we'll pull this down to 0%. And if we play this back, as you can see, the shadow is there. The closer they get together, the shadow disappears, and it becomes one title layer. So there you go. That is how you create this really awesome sliced animation text effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And of course, if you're not subscribed, then please do consider subscribing. See you tomorrow for another brand new video.